take now for this featherweight fight. All right, now to get us started with the introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Aljamain Sterling, he has been a prolific finisher, but both oh, he's hurt bad. Big right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands from Kurt. Oh, huge left. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. That is, oh, man, this dude is good. Trying to establish the jab early on here. Body kick lands. Oh, there's a takedown attempt. Great job moving into his opponent and getting to that single count. Gets each other. That is officially tight. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Sterling's got him in a crucifix now, going to go to work from the top. And look at him attacking the arm triangle on the other side. He's going to lock him down. He's got it locked in. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. Great ground and pound by this man. Great submission defense. Another ground and pound strike lands. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. And now he's inside control. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Ivoyev. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Postures up and lands a brutal strike to the head. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by Stone. Oh, he's got the arm in tight. Great submission defense. He's able to take his arm out and stay safe. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. 15 seconds to go. Round two next. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, back to the stools we go, and it's starting to look like a second mouth on his cheek. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. I mean, the guy is getting hit with big shots, one big enough to open up a nasty cut on his cheek. While it's in a better spot, it still is very difficult to deal with. Like, if he absorbs another strike on that cheek, he might actually be able to eat through that cut on his fight. cheek. I'm just saying. He's got a big mouth. <laughs> Here we are, early round two. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there, really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Nice judo toss for him there. Beautiful kick to the body.
unable to connect it. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Oh, he passes the half guard now. And he's not posturing the land punches, so look for a submission attempt. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Movsar Yavloya. Man, he's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Nice transition. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. strike here. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, Blum. he gets denied. Blum. Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Yavloyev's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Big ground and pound. Massive shot from the top. While well, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. All right, round three coming up next. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Beats a jab there. Strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground pound. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush. They get nervous. They're like, "Oh my goodness, I'm winning." Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound with very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling, expending all this energy trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it, 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 no takedown is not taught. No reversal is not taught. Everything they're doing is taught 
to the very last minute before it gets given up. Sterling's trying for a submission here. This is tight. Going very hard to try to finish this fight by heel hook. He has got to secure the leg and keep the hip past the knee. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Trying to recover from the guard there. 30 seconds now to go on the round. Yes. Some pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Ivoyev. Oh. That is how you finish a fight. Both athletes emptying the tanks down the stretch as we go the distance here in this arena tonight. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. We'll see how the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 29-28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Mozart Evoyan! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. 